So you mentioned the F-35. Um, that's uh, obviously the uh, eagerly anticipated by fans of this kind of thing. Do you think we'll get a chance to see that uh, Farnborough next year? Uh, yeah, I think uh, that's the plan is to... I'd be surprised. Now, it depends on sequestration uh, in the budget situation in, in the U.S., and that could uh, be extended another year. Uh, it's definitely a possibility. On the other hand, the UK actually, I think, owns some um, flying F-35, so they could uh, bring their own over. Yeah, I suspect um, the Air Force, the Royal Air Force, will be really keen to showcase that new aircraft. Yeah. Now, the difference between an aircraft like the F-35 and this aircraft, one is, of course, the external stealth features uh, for radar detection. Um, you, you see that on the F-35. Uh, you don't see it on the SU-35, the shaping isn't there. I'm sure there are coatings and other techniques they use to minimize detection by radar as much as they can, but there's only so much you can do with, a, with an airframe that is derived from something that was um, developed in the 1970s before uh, that kind of stealth design really took hold in the U.S. Yeah. engine aircraft, F-35, a single engine. On the sensor side, uh, this has a passively electronically scanned array radar. The F-35 is active electronically scanned array radar. Uh, so it's a bit more sophisticated, another generational leap. Um, and, um, but it's, uh, you know, in many ways though, especially in low-speed handling and in a dogfight, You have to like the uh, SU-35's chances. Yeah. Yeah, I can see why. We're currently at uh, 101.5 decibels at the moment. That's our peak. I think the decibel meter has gone deaf. <laughs> That's quite some display. That's uh, as he comes into land over the top of the chalet row. Whew. Well, there we go. That was brilliant. Um, thank you for jumping. There we go. That was brilliant. Um, thank you for jumping.